Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You mentioned in the past that uh, this place, meaning Darga, means a divine threshold. And people are here, and we see from one Rabia world to next. Some people pass away, some people leave, and others join. What make people to miss this opportunity of welcoming the month of the Holy Prophet in a location which is the divine threshold? Is it something that the ego wants as instant gratification in this age of instant gratification to forfeit that aim of uh, being in the presence uh, of the Holy Prophet during this month in this beautiful divine place? What makes them to trade that? They don't believe in this place anymore. It's not a trade. It's trade. Not really. You just don't believe in. Like the Ibn Salamas, they don't believe in that anymore. Dunya. They believe in that dunya and they say, no. I can. Um, I'm going to be back, say to the Prophet. I'll be back. He used to be there every day, now he comes once a week. And then once every 40 days, and then from Bairam to Bairam he would come. Right? And some openly they are saying, ah, this place is just this. It's okay, they can. You're not the first to say that. You're not going to be the last. You're not the first to deny this way or to deny our share. You're not going to be the last, definitely. And as Sheikh Andy said, whether I'm here alone or there's thousand people around me, I'm going to continue that way. So it, I'm saying the same thing too. Whether I'm alone or a thousand people around me, I'm going to continue. This is my life. I have given a promise. Doesn't matter. I've given a promise. It doesn't matter if they reward my promise with roses or with thorns. This is a matter of honor. I've given my word. Those who have left, they say, no, it doesn't matter. Have they lost their honor? They just don't think it's important anymore. But that's okay. And they think, oh, we can always celebrate um, Maulid anywhere. Who says we have to be there? But before, they were tripping over themselves to say this is great, da da da. That's natural. So when the ego takes over, ego takes over, you understand? And then they can overturn everything. Then the ego finds a reason to say, why not here? Why somewhere else? Why do you think it is they are still able to do that? Because the punishment of Allah is still not reaching. Because, as Shaykh Fendi said, we give you extra leash. Your leash is still in our hands. But we let you to run around. Run as much as you want. Run east and west, north and south. Run. But one day we will pull it. And when we pull it, we'll pull it very hard. You don't believe in the leash. You don't believe in us. It's okay. You want to deny Shah Fendi and Shah Maulana in the whole way. It's okay. Do it. That doesn't change anything. It doesn't. And those ones, they know what I'm saying. They're already feeling it. So, Something happens when you start believing. When you start believing, you start disbelieving. You understand? When we come here, we start believing in Shah Fendi. We start disbelieving, understanding what it is. Our lives before, what we held to be true. Everything, no? We're looking at it with new eyes. This is what's happening. Once they start believing in what is outside and looking, then they start disbelieving in this. They've turned their faces. The whole point is to turn our face to Allah, to Mawla. This is a place that is forcing you to turn your face to Mawla. Everyone who has left, they've turned their faces to dunya, not to Mawla. Name me one person who said, no, no, I left to enter to seclusion. I left because you're not praying too much. I'm going to pray 24 hours. I'm not going to run after the world. I'm not going to 
do this or do this. Everyone running after the dunya. And the ego is going to be very powerful that time because they feel so free. Huh? Nothing is happening to me yet. Then that's proof that this one is false. If it is true, he's going to punish me right away, right? It's okay. We are not like you. So, they continue. Still continue. There's still time left. So, this is it. What concerns us now, where is our heart going to be? With that, with that, with that. Where is our heart going to be? Our heart is going to be soft towards that, towards the stand for. Are we going to say there is a, uh, how you say, a satr? There is a point, a um, demarcation line, a line that you draw. Don't. Our heart's going to be soft towards that or not? This is a big test for us. Understand? People who don't know us too much, like this or like that, it's different. People who know us, and they're smiling in front of us and behind us, they start to say things. That's different. Am I going to tell people to stop doing that? No, please go ahead. Please start backbiting about us. Because you will carry us all our sins and we're going to put it onto your backs. Do that, it's good. More you do that, easier and lighter it is for us. You're cleaning us up. Hmm. So, and those who are smiling in front of us, years, but one word they hear that is coming from shaitan, and they start believing, those ones we also question. And if your heart is going to change just like that, from one word, we throw you out. Well, they will ask, you say, no, they don't belong to us. Because one word is so easy that you're going to believe, and you're not even sitting here and asking, huh? No need. Because what we're going to carry, what we're going to do, so many people depend on the strength. We don't want weak ones. That time, so many people will fall into the hellfire because of you. So, this is the time to know everyone's worth. Understand? Everyone is going to be tested. Your disease is being shown. You don't like it. It's very ugly. But you're trying to change it. One step, two steps, one year, two years. You're still doing it. Because you still believe. One day you'll wake up, that's just going to be gone. What is going to be gone? That wrong characteristic or that feeling of weakness, more power will be given because you're still fighting. You don't like it, it's there. Sometimes it's going to be gone easy way, sometimes in a hard way. But you will have a little bit of more control over it. It's not just going to hit you and you are just going to, you'll have more control over it. It's not going to come to you suddenly. It's coming, you have control over it. You don't like it. You're pretending. You don't like it. It will control you. At time you think you can fool the whole world. Yeah. Not them. It's okay. You can't really fool us that much. Not at all. Well, so it's good. Um, I'm happy. So many left, so many coming too. It's good. So many coming. Some, they pass. So many, they are born. Concentrating on this. Like I said, if you're so shaky, a little bit of a wind is going to take you, please go with the wind. What they say? Gone with the wind. Hmm. good. Because bigger winds are going to come, then we'll see who's going to be left. Hmm. Right, Bilal? I think it's a joke. Huh? How many people have you seen left, Sheikh? Oh, 
scores. Eh? They're coming in, they pretend they love him so much, they kiss his hand, his feet, huh? Where are they now? Come. And so many, they uh, turn around, they start cursing at him, no? Remember? Yeah. So, it's okay. This is for us to learn. This is the reality of life, too. Hmm. Somebody was praying for me, saying, You have more strength to carry, it's this. I said, oh, yeah. It's, it's, inshallah, it is their strength, it's not ours. And I still remember Shah Effendi talking about Shah Maulana, saying sometimes he's like, before he goes to sleep, he is like resting, meaning late, doing everything carrying the whole world's burdens. Before he goes to sleep, he looks like he's hundred years old, hundreds of years old. He sleeps for a couple of hours, then he wakes up at the head and he looks refreshed like a young man again. So we want to be like that, no matter how the world is hitting us. We got so bad, we're just asking for their support, a little bit of rest. We must wake up more powerful, more young to carry this responsibility that we have. Yes? yes? Don't go to sleep old and wake up older, please. Wake up young. So, that is the point. Every day. To be younger, to have more power, no matter what it is the night before, doesn't matter, it'll pass. Maybe one day, maybe a few days, it'll pass. It still carries on. Ego is going to make you to think this is forever. It's not. It's not. Assalamu alaikum.